you know, are you happy with the young arms down there in, in uh, that you'll be bringing into camp and, and, and have a good look at? Because, because you know, getting young pitchers and getting them up, you have to almost uh, be careful with bringing it up too fast. Yeah, we do have some guys that I think are on the brink of breaking th into the big league. Uh, you know, Justice Sheffield we got from the Yankees in the Paxton trade. He's already been in the big leagues a little bit. Eric Swanson's another guy we got in the Paxton trade. Interesting arm. Uh, Justin Dunn is a part of the deal we did with the Mets. Former first round pick. Big arm. So we, we've got guys. We've acquired talent. I'm talking about first round picks. It's not just that we value them, but everybody in the industry values them. So uh, we're going to create opportunity. Uh, we're going to put the right environment around those players so they can grow and we got to coach him up a little bit. And that's a good point for Mariners fans to remember is that these, these are not just regular old minor leaguers out there trying to make it, do it, go through the grind. You have top prospects yes. that you got in return for some of the big names you shipped out. Really, really have. I mean, an organization, like you mentioned earlier, you know, our talent level was really down. You know, I think if you rank the 30 organizations, we were near the bottom. I think with all the acquisitions that, that Jerry and our front office has brought in, we're probably ninth or tenth in the industry right now. Did all that in a couple months. We traded away great players. Uh, I get all that, but you know the talent level has just risen so much within our minor league system. But we got to develop them. We got to keep the ball rolling so they can continue on in the big leagues and then make impact. We've talked to some MLB analysts uh, in the off season about the Mariners' moves and, and maybe what was the biggest surprise for them. You know, I know it's tough to say who's your favorite kid, but if, but, but as the manager, who did you? Uh, least likely or, or you know, who was the who was the Which player one hurt you the did? most yes <laughs> <laughs> help me out here because I want to phrase it the right way but yeah. but you know what which one you know they all do in their own way there's no question about it certainly you know what Robbie Cano's done here he hits in the middle of your lineup you're gonna miss that you know Nelson Cruz what he brought in the clubhouse and the power and how he could change the game uh, you know Edwin Diaz what he did for our team last year all the close games we played and he was able to pull them out you know, with the great stuff and the great year he had. James Paxton, I mean, a lot of Mike Zanino go down the list uh, of guys that made impact here. But for whatever reason, that team did not, didn't gel. It wasn't enough to get us over the hump. I say that we won 89 games. Mm -hmm. uh, in a normal year, we would have made the playoffs. Uh, unfortunately, last year, Oakland got on a run and we couldn't catch them. They played 700 ball over the last couple months of the season. And you got to give them credit. But a year ago, nobody thought Oakland was ever even going to contend to get into the playoffs. So that's the beauty of baseball. You play so many games, you never quite know what's going to happen. And we'll play it out and we'll see what happens. But uh, I would uh, impress upon Mariner fans, keep an open mind. There's that next favorite players out there somewhere. All right, well, we'll see if, if he's on that Mariners roster for sure. It's a lot, it's exciting, you know. I mean, as you sit there and you know this team is moving along, and like you said, you weren't going to get over the hump with the roster that you had. It so wasn't working. I, right. I'm, I'm personally was a fan of you guys breaking it down somewhat and bringing in some young prospects, and I think it'll be exciting to watch these players. It, it will be, and it, you know, there's there's some pain that's going to go along with it, but. Uh, it takes a lot of courage to be great. It does, and, and we're willing to step out and, and take a chance here, and I feel really good about our chances of it working. Uh, all right, let's talk about the, the, the controlling the zone and, and, and the foundation of this team and what happened in the second half of that season that everything started to go that way. You know, early in the season, we were, we were awesome. You know, we were doing things offensively. Uh, we had guys that were getting on base consistently, and our pitching continued to get better as the year went on. And then in the second half of the season, we – as things started to slide, you know, we really didn't, our foundation and, and having a really solid foundation to stop it, we weren't able to stop it from an offensive standpoint. And it kind of goes back to, it does go back to controlling the zone, making good swing decisions. Um, you know, we had guys in our lineup that, that weren't able to draw a walk or find a way to get on base to create scoring opportunities. So we were really relying on the three-run homer which is hard to win every night when you're doing that. So uh, that was, for me, one of the reasons we weren't able to keep it going in the second half of the season last year is because we weren't true. Our identity is about controlling the zone and controlling the strikes. And it's very similar to what the Seahawks did this year, right? They went back. Their identity is running the ball. We're going to control the line of scrimmage. They did it, and they won 10 games. Okay, and, and so you have to understand who you are, what's important to you, but you also have to have the personnel around you to make it happen. So it's something we will preach from day one of spring training, certainly with all the new players coming in. This is what we're about, and that's what the teams who go to the playoffs, that's what they do. They control line of scrimmage, or in our game, they control the strike zone.